Praise the Lord Jesus. I salute you, my fellow soldiers in Christ. How have you been doing? I believe you're blessed of the Lord and you just have a testimony of what the Lord is doing in your life. Welcome, welcome again to our program of prayer online. We have been praying throughout the year and I believe you're seeing results. It's never in vain that we call upon the name of Jesus. Tonight, we are not doing anything different. We are still going to pray. And we are going to invoke the power in the name of Jesus of our situations. Let's have an opening prayer. Father God, we love you, we bless you, we adore you. You are worthy, you are a wonder working God. You have blessed us beyond the curse. You have taken our pain, our disappointment. Lord Jesus, you became man that we may be glorified. Thank you so much for reconciling us back to the Father. Behold this hour, we are coming before your presence, our Lord, and you have told us to come with confidence that we may receive grace that will help us in time of need. And this is exactly what we are doing, our Father. May your eyes be upon us. May you shine your countenance over us. May the heavens open over us in Jesus' name. And I pray that our prayers will be received in heaven, that they will be a sweet incense, and our cries, Lord, will come into your presence and they will come before the altar of the Most High. Glory and glory to you alone. We welcome the power of the Holy Spirit and we know that he's going to take over. It's in Jesus' name that I do pray and believe. Amen. Why the name of Jesus? We are briefly going to look at the power that is in the name of Jesus Christ. And we are going, first of all, to read a scripture in the book of Colossians chapter 3 and verse 17. And the Bible says that whatever you do in word or deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to the God the Father through him. So in this world, everything that we do, either in word or in action, we should do it in the name of Jesus Christ. Everything surrounding our lives should be done in the name of Jesus Christ, meaning that our everyday life should be surrounded by the power in the name of Jesus Christ. We should never forsake the name of Jesus. We should never be far from the name of Jesus. We should never allow ourselves to be distant from the name of the Lord Jesus because everything we do should allow the name of Jesus Christ in there. That means that everything we do should please our God. In other words, everything we do, as long as it involves the Lord Jesus, it will definitely please our Father. We are going also to read the book of Philippians, chapter 2, from verse 9 to 11, and it says, Therefore God has highly exalted him, bestowed on him the name which is above every name, that at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. We are seeing another reason why we should use the name of Jesus or why the name of Jesus is the most powerful name. The Bible tells us clearly that God has exalted this name above all other names. Many names have been mentioned in history, but they have faded away. They are not as important as they were in those centuries. You can ask a, a child of Jesus about Jesus, and they will tell you Jesus is the Son of God. But if you ask them about Vasco da Gama or somebody like Hitler, they will ask you, who is that? Where was he born? Where does he stay? They have no clue about who he is. Many mighty men have risen but none has, has, has stayed as long as the Lord Jesus. No other name is as mighty as the name of Jesus. No other name has been raised as the name of Jesus Christ. And when we use this name of Jesus in our prayers, in all the situations, in our deeds and actions, as the Bible tells us, and also in what, we accept that our names and the name of our families are bankrupt 
They have no single cent that can buy us life, that can buy us health. Our we accept the bankruptcy of our own names and the names of our families. Sometimes I wonder when I see people, you know, boasting with their, with their names or the names of their families, not knowing in a century or two coming, those names will not be as important as they are today. Actually, they will be relevant. You will be mentioning those names in offices, and people tell you, ah, these are different days. These are not the days of so and so. But this name of Jesus will go from one generation to another, up to eternity. If there is any name that will remain, it is the name of Jesus Christ. That is why we should use this name, boast with it, perform great things with this name. When we read verse 10, it tells us that every knee bows to that name. There is no power that can stand against the name of Jesus, whether in the spirit world or in the physical world. The Bible here tells us all up in heaven and earth and under the earth. It's talking about heaven, earth, and the hell. No power can stand against this name of Jesus Christ. So every time you mention it, there is a knee bowing. Every time you mention it, there is a power bowing. Every time you pronounce the name of Jesus, knowing that you are a son of God, because the Bible says that those who came to him, he gave them the power to become sons of God. So when you are a son of God and you are authorized to use this name, you are authorized to use this name, you are not like the sons of Sceva, who say that we are casting out demons in the name of Jesus that Paul preaches about. No, here you have a personal experience with God with Jesus himself. You are personal, you know, you are personal, you are friends, you are brothers. He calls us brethren. He calls us friends, not servants. So when you know the Lord Jesus, when you receive him in your life, he makes you his own. And now you can use this name of Jesus with authority. And this means you submit to his will. You allow the will of the Father to be done. Because the Lord Jesus said that I and my Father are one. Just the same thing with the Holy Spirit. So when we use the name of Jesus, knees of sicknesses bow. Knees of, of, of poverty bow. Every kind of bondage is broken. Every power of the enemy is broken. You remember the Lord Jesus Christ reading the book of Isaiah in the temple and he confirms the, 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 the words that are written in the book of Isaiah 61. That the spirit of the Lord is upon him to make the prisoners free and to set the captives free and also to preach good news to the poor. That means that every time you mention this name of Jesus Christ, every bondage is broken. As long as you do it with faith, because again, now the Bible tells us that without faith, we don't please God. So you mention the name of Jesus with faith. When you mention the name of Jesus, every request you make to the Father is sealed and stamped, ready for action, ready for delivery, ready for power. You know, when you mention the name of Jesus, all things are passed to the Father and is able to seal them and say, received, now go back and deliver as my child has requested. What a beautiful thing that we don't need to use our own power and effort, that it's not about our education and money, that it's not about our looks, it's not about anything concerning us, but it's all about the name of Jesus Christ. Verse 11 says, and uh, every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Every tongue, every tongue, here on earth, everywhere, knows that Jesus Christ is Lord. That is why when you mention the name of Jesus, demons flee. When you see the disciples in the book of Acts, as the Lord Jesus promises uh, in the book of uh, Mark 16, 17, that anybody who, who believes in his name, signs and wonders shall follow them, and they shall speak in new tongues. He says so. This is... Uh, this happens immediately when they receive the Holy Spirit. The disciples begin to manifest in signs and wonders. Everywhere they go, they perform signs and wonders. And uh, the first instance is where Peter 
uh, is going to the temple, Peter and John, they're going to the temple and there's that lame man. He was lame from birth. Take note of that. That man was born lame. And people knew that this man was lame. This was just to prove that the name of Jesus has power. So they tell him, we have no silver and, and gold, but what we have, we give you. In the name of Jesus, rise up and walk. And that instant, he stands up and walks. What a powerful name that we have. We must use this name to make results in our lives. We must make you, always use this name to make changes wherever we go. That signs and wonders may follow us that we may receive the power of the Holy Spirit. Because unless you have the Lord Jesus in you, you can also, you can also receive the Holy Spirit. It is only received when you have the Lord Jesus in you. The book of Romans chapter 10 and verse 13. For everyone who calls upon the name of the Lord will be saved. If we are going to call upon the name of the Lord tonight, be sure we are going to be saved. We are going to be delivered. That trouble is coming to an end. That problem must be alienated from your life. You must be removed from that sinking sand. The Lord Jesus must come into your situations and change it. The Lord must be involved in whatever is wearing you down. This life is full of burdens, and the Lord Jesus recognizes that, and he tells you, come if you are heavy burden, come, receive my easy yoke, I will set you free. That is what the Lord Jesus says. He beckons us to him. He tells us, come, my children. He tells the disciples, you have never asked anything in my name. Now ask, and whatever you ask my father in my name, you shall receive. If you have never asked anything from the Lord, this is the opportune time for you to call upon the name of Jesus, to invoke the power in this name, to make that bondage flee, to make that demon that has followed your family to depart from you in the name of Jesus Christ. Satan has no legal ground to stand in your life when you have the Lord Jesus in you, when you are habiting the Holy Spirit in you. Satan has no permission to stay in your life, to make you cry all night long, to make you rejected everywhere you go. We must return what belongs to him back to him and we must receive our good health. We must receive the goodness that the Lord has promised upon our lives. We are not here in the world to suffer from the enemy. We are here in the world as children of God to manifest the power of the risen Lord. We are not here to be captives of the enemy. We are here to enjoy the freedom that the Lord Jesus Christ gave upon us because he became a curse that we may be a blessing. That is why Paul says, do not condemn my liberty. Because he knew he was free. He was no longer under the law. He didn't have to observe every detail of the law. He had been set free. And so are we. We are set free by the Lord Jesus Christ. Are you ready to invoke the name of Jesus in that situation? It is you who knows that situation. And I tell you the truth, every knee must bow tonight in Jesus' mighty name. I don't mention this name in vain. Every time I mention it, I see a difference. Every time I mention the name of Jesus, I see a change. Every time I mention this name, I always see something happening. Because it is true what is spoke, that at the mention of that name, every knee bows and every power must confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. I don't need to go farther than that. I believe you're already charged up to mention this name, that your situation may be changed, that your, you, everything that is in you, that is paining you, may go. Jesus Christ came that we may be delivered of every incurable disease. You, the doctor's report is not the final word. Jesus has the final word over your life. And you know what? He is still rewriting your life. Whatever you are experiencing is not the end of your story. There is a story being rewritten that you are a, a conqueror, that you are a victor, that you are above and not below, that you are going far, that you are rising above, above opposition, that you are child, a child of God. That is the story that the Lord Jesus is still, is still writing about you. Are you ready to pray? We want to ask in the name of Jesus Christ. Are you ready? I'm going to pray over your situation too. 
And I believe God is going to work. Remember what Jesus would ask the people he was ministering to? He'd ask them, do you have faith? Do you believe? He would say, according to your faith, receive. I will also say the same thing because I am his follower. As your faith is, the level of faith you have, may you receive so as we begin to pray in the name of Jesus. Uh, King Jesus, we worship you. We adore you. We bless your name. You have done so much for us and you're still doing so much for us. Your blessings are beyond number. We cannot even count them all. For Lord God, you have done amazing things. We stand to glorify your name. We stand to shout for joy for what you have done. Your name is a powerful name. And we thank you, God, our Father, because you have given this name unto us. The Bible says a child is born unto us. And in Indeed, is no longer a child. He is a king to us. He is our deliverer. He is the one who has saved us. He is the one who has set us free. He is the one who has given us the authority to call you Abba Father. We call you Jesus. We call you this evening. We invoke the power in your name. We pray that this evening you are going to be glorified in our lives, in our situation, in our circumstances. We pray, Lord Jesus, that our our lives will not be the same again after mentioning your name after invoking the power in your name after asking in thy name our lives are going to another level we know that Jehovah God you are God with us we remember what you did to the children of Israel 400 years they were in bondage but the day you decided that they must be free they were freed and they walked out of their prisoners hands and they came out with treasures from their own bosses my God and my Lord, as you deliver us today, we are coming out with treasures. We are coming out with silver and gold. We know that God, as you did it in those days, so are you doing it today. For you are the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. You never change. And the Lord Jesus confirmed and said, whatever is impossible to man is possible to you, our Lord God. And this evening, my Jehovah, we have faith that God, you are going to move mountains in our lives that at the mention of Jesus Christ, devil is going to lose our lives, that at the name of Jesus Christ, powers of darkness are going to bow, the powers of the occultic world are going to bow, we know that witchcraft is going to lose people, Father that is the faith that I have in you that as we join hands together with, with my viewer, Lord our lives are going to take a different notch, we are going a level higher we are going to be delivered us. For we know whoever calls upon the name of the Lord shall be delivered. Mark Zekabaya, in the name of Jesus Christ. Father God, we cannot forget how you released Peter from chains in the prison where he was guarded by four four sets of guards. Lord Jesus, you will set him free because there were people praying for him. There were people calling upon your name. There were people charged that do you may do it upon Peter. And we know the same thing is going to happen to us tonight. Lord God of glory, you delivered Daniel from the mouth of lions. You delivered him. You shut the mouth. Lord, they were hungry. Lord, you shut their mouth and they began to communicate with Daniel. My Lord and my God, you are the fourth man in that fire and I know you are going to appear tonight. You are going to appear in this person's life who is experiencing fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we recognize your power, that there is no power that can be compared to yours, that there is no authority that can be compared to yours, that you are above all powers, you are above all kingdoms. All kingdoms bow to your kingdom. All men with authority. They have received it from you. Even the devil, the authority he has, has come from you. And I know, Lord Jesus, the same way you went to the graveyard and you delivered that man with legions of demons. So are you, Lord God, coming into this house tonight, going into that person's situation tonight, and delivering them from the legions of demons that have bound them in the mighty name of Jesus. I know tonight you are cutting 
in short the cry of somebody's heart. I know, Father, somebody who has been wetting their tears every night because the trouble is persistent. Tonight you are going to intervene in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, God of glory, we realize and recognize and admit that the Lord Jesus Christ is your son, your only begotten son, whom you sent for us that we may be reconciled back to you, that, Lord, we may ask anything in his name and we receive. My Father, we could say the Lord Jesus is our Savior. The Lord Jesus is our Redeemer. He is the one who has set us free. He is the one who has chosen us. He says that you did not choose me, but I chose you. He chose us to be sanctified, to be cleansed and dedicated to you, my Lord and my God. As first fruits, my Lakaba, my Father and my God, I know you guard your people jealously and you cannot allow the enemy to continue to torment the lives of your people as he wishes. He has no permission a oh God. He has no authority or oh king because you have given us power to trample over snakes and scorpions, to trample over the pup adder and the lion. My God and my Lord, we take that authority in Jesus' mighty name and we walk together with him for we know as long as the strong man who is armed secures his palace, nothing can happen. But as long as we have the stronger man with us, we can prevail and take what belongs to us. We can take the plunder. And Lord, we know it is in your will that we be in perfect health. It is in your will that we be rich. It is in your will that, Lord, our marriages are enjoyable. It is in your will that our ministries grow. It is in your will that we portray, we show, and we, Lord, uh, perfect our abilities and our capabilities in the name of Jesus Christ. Father God, it is in your will that good things happen to us. The Lord Jesus didn't come here on earth for us to remain under bondage. He came that we may receive life and life in eternity and life in abundance. And we declare whatever the thief has stolen tonight, he must restore. And the Bible says if he is caught, he must pay seven times. And I, my Father, my God, I stand on that word concerning somebody's health, somebody who has been sick over and over, somebody who has been weak over and over. Father God, I declare, let the enemy restore seven times that health in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Mark Bozea, somebody, Lord Jehovah, who has been struggling with asthma. Father, I command that demon to leave this person. I command that demon to leave this person. This demon has no authority, whether it is from birth or even, Lord, they developed it, uh, developed it as they were growing. I declare you spirit of asthma. Release the people of God. Release the people of God right now in the name of Jesus Christ. You have no power to continue tormenting the person that Jesus has set free. You are there illegally and I command your power out. I command your authority out. Release this people right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, people with diabetes, blood pressure, HIV, whatever disease they are suffering from, even cancer. Father God, wounds that are caused by cancer, I declare right now, let them dry. Let them dry in the name of Jesus Christ. Any incurable wound as, 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 a, as a result of diabetes, I declare, dry up right now. Dry up in the name of Jesus Christ. Every that has become weak. Be strengthened like the limbs of the lame man. Be strengthened right now in the name of Jesus. Be restored to your perfect health. Be restored to your perfect health in the name of Jesus. Be it your internal organs. I declare, receive healing wherever it is that you are, pay, you are under pain. I declare, receive healing. Receive healing in the name of Jesus Christ. I, my Father and my God, 
God, I pray for somebody who is under attack of, 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 of witchcraft. My God and my Lord, you are able. There is no divination against Israel. The devil has no permission at all to attack these people with witchcraft. Mark Isaiah, anybody who cannot sleep at night because they are, they are getting constant attacks from the witches. Mighty God, mighty God of Israel, cut off the connection right now. Cut off their networks right now. Cut off their performances right now. Let it come to a halt. Let it come to a stop. Let it not continue. Whatever they have been doing, manipulating the minds of people, making people be drawn to drugs, making people to be drawn to immorality. I declare that manipulation must stop right now. Everything that they are using, the mirrors they are using, all the paraphernalia they are using to monitor the lives of your people. Father, I declare, let them be consumed by fire right now on their altars, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Let the name of Jesus cause havoc wherever those witches are. Let the name of Jesus cause havoc in that area. Let it rain and let there be fire that is unstoppable. The fire that is beyond the fire of sulfur. Father, Lord of glory, cause trouble in the altar of the wicked people who have been troubling your children. My Father, let their way be slippery as your angels pursue them. Let them not escape your angels. I pray, my God, let their beds be too short and their blankets be too thin to cover them. Let them suffer what their, your children have been suffering in the name of Jesus Christ. Every assignment of the enemy to cause dryness in prayer, to cause defeat in the lives of people. Father, let it come to an end in the name of Jesus Christ. Every assignment, every demon sent to different churches to go and monitor, to go and evaluate. Mark Abosia, I declare in the name of Jesus, your assignment is coming to nothing. Your assignment will not be fulfilled in the name of Jesus Christ. My Father, my God, you are the same God who was with the Lord Jesus. You are the same God with us. You will not allow the plans of the enemy to prevail. You will not allow the programs of the enemy to prevail. Every program against marriages, I stop them in the name of Jesus. Every wickedness that has been put in the daughters of men and the sons of men to make them Jehovah, to be unfaithful in their marriages. I speak to every marriage that is going through a tumult. I declare to you, receive peace in the name of Jesus, for you have the peacemaker in you. The Lord Jesus he is the one who is the Prince of Peace. I declare as he dwells in you, let peace begin to come in your heart, in your mind, in your spirit. I pray you will not be troubled anymore. I pray that you will not be shaken anymore in the name of Jesus, that the devil will not take what belongs to you because he has no right. What we have is given to us by our Father because we are co heirs together with Christ and it belongs to us legitimately. We are not children of adoption. We are sons who are legitimate to our Father and I declare every inheritance of the righteous in the hands of the wicked be brought back, be restored, be restored in the name of Jesus Christ. Every bright star that has been stolen by the enemy for his own purposes. Tonight I stand at the door and I call it back from the camp of the enemy. I call that star back wherever it is buried, be it in a grave, be it in a cemetery, wherever it has been thrown, even in the deepest part of the sea. The name that is the name that is exalted above all men is exalted in heaven on earth and under the earth. And I declare that name of Jesus, wherever your star is hidden, it must be restored. It must be brought back. The devil must release. The devil must lose it. The devil must release it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Your career cannot be controlled by the enemy anymore. Your business cannot be thrown down every time by people who use charms. In the name of Jesus Christ, let the power of their charms be nothing. Let the power of their charms come 
them to amen. Let the power of their charms lose power. Let the power of your ch- their charms be nothing. I pray whatever they planned against you, let it go back to them and let them come to buy from your business. Let them come become customers to your business as you are raised by the Lord higher and higher above them. For we are eagles. We don't walk with a chicken. We will fly on the eagle's wings in the name of Jesus Christ. Anybody who has grown weary because of the troubles of life, I declare refreshment in the name of Jesus. I pray that his word will be a light unto your feet and will a lamp unto your path. I pray that you will not go astray. I pray that you will not seek the power of an alternative power. I pray that you will not go to the occultic altars. I pray that you will not run towards witches in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you tonight. May you receive the liberty of the Lord. May you receive the freedom of the Lord. May you receive the power of the Lord in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every name that you have been labeled by the camp of the enemy and it has stuck on you. The name that has caused rejection in you. The name that has caused delayance on you. The name that has caused miscarriages in your life. The name that has caused your career to stand, they are in the, to stagnate in the name of Jesus Christ. I declare that name erased by the blood of Jesus. May you receive a new name from Jacob to Israel. May you receive the name that carries nations in the name of Jesus Christ. I declare those evil names will no longer be yours in the name of Jesus. May you hear the voice of your shepherd. May your ears be open. May your sight be open to great visions, visions of the Lord in the name of Jesus Christ where you have become a playground of the enemy. Tonight I call it to a stop. I declare you are not a playground ground of the enemy. The enemy will not do with your life as he wishes because you are a child of God. Because you belong to the Lord Jesus in the name of Jesus. I call your life back to order. I call your mind back to order. I call your spirit back to order. And your soul too. It cannot be manipulated by the enemy. Whether in sleep when you are unconscious. Whether at day in the day when you are walking or doing whatever you are doing. I call your life to order right now. In the name of Jesus, I speak freedom upon every person who is listening and praying with me. I speak freedom tonight. Let there be freedom. Father, let this river of freedom flow in the life of each and every person. In the name of Jesus Christ, the altars of our forefathers will have no claim over us. The blood they shed will no longer lay a claim on us. In the name of Jesus, because now we are grafted in the true vine. We are no longer in the line of generation. We are in a new family right now with new blood flowing in us. There is no way they can catch us up because we don't hold their blood any longer. The sins they committed, we will not suffer out of them. The evil they committed will not pursue us. The covenants they made on our behalf before we were born, they have no claim on us because we have a new covenant of the blood, the blood of the lamb, the blood of Jesus Christ. We eat of the body and drink of the blood of Jesus and we know that is the blood that flows in us and that is the covenant that will stay with us and our children and all generations. The blood of Jesus will speak better things and I declare let the blood of Jesus speak a new life for you. Let the blood of Jesus speak a new career for you. Let the blood of Jesus silence every accusations of all the bloods that your forefathers shed. I declare where you live, if there is any blood that was shed there and it has been crying for a vengeance, I declare you it will not touch you because the blood of Jesus speaks better things. Because the blood of Jesus speaks upon your life. Let the blood of Jesus speak upon your children. Let the blood of Jesus speak good things upon your marriage. I pray no divorces, no separation. And where there has been separation, I declare there shall be reconciliation in the name of Jesus. Let the will of the Lord prevail in your life. Let the way of the Lord take root in your life. Let the purpose of the Lord be fulfilled in Jesus' mighty name. Father, I bless you for what you have done. I know my God and I have faith in this word that says 
that, Lord, we know not how to pray, but your spirit prays for us with groanings that words cannot utter, and that you do more and above what we ask. Lord, I believe in this word with all my heart. I pray, Lord, that the demon that consumes their money will not touch it anymore. I know that the devourer is rebuked, and I know there is a restoration in somebody's life. And I know, Lord Jehovah, somebody is going to rise above the Mary clay. In Jesus' name, that I worship you, I bless you, I honor you, I adore you, and I return all the glory to you. What can we do without the name of Jesus? Nothing at all. But thank you, Lord, for this name has given us power. We bless you, Lord, this evening as you do great things in people's lives. And as the name of Jesus will continue to be in all that we do, in word and in deed. In Jesus' name we do pray and believe. Amen and amen and amen. I believe somebody has received life today. Continue to share these prayers. There's somebody out there who needs these prayers. Share with them. If you hear of somebody in a situation and you know there's a prayer we have made concerning that situation, forward it to them. You will be ministering to that person without knowing. I take this chance to welcome you to our eighth anniversary. We thank God for this far that he has brought us. Is surely Ebenezer. The Lord has been faithful. It has been wonderful serving the Lord. Indeed, we have witnessed the faithfulness of God as he has taken us from level to another. He has fought so many battles for us. We have witnessed the hand of God literally fighting for us. So I take this chance to welcome you as we turn nine years. We celebrate the Lord and we, we welcome you to celebrate with us. And you know there is no celebration without food. So as you come, don't worry. If we spend the whole day there, you just come. All roads lead to Holy Gate of Heaven on the 28th. Tell somebody to welcome another person and let all, the, all, the, all of your family come. We will accommodate you. We have enough space. God bless you so much as you purpose to do so. God bless you so much. May you have a wonderful night. Amen. Thank you.